Dear friends, you, you are welcome to Parenting Children Course Notes. I'm Elder Dr. Prosper Tetedo, and together with my lovely wife, Mrs. Hannah Doe, and we've been married for 30 years, and we've had we have three daughters, uh, age range from teenage, the youngest one, and you have two young adults. So we've had some experience with bringing up uh, our daughters and these notes have been we found useful and looking back and we realize it's been helpful sharing with people so you are welcome to share this with us about raising children parenting course notes the topics uh, will cover building strong foundations meeting our children's needs setting boundaries, teaching healthy relationships, and our long-term aims and values. Building strong foundations, the rim in the middle of parent will is always love. And at this moment, you can write down funny things children said and did. And one needs to present a united front by both parents when parenting children and note the different temperaments of parents do not blame self every time and be careful about unrealistic expectations there are challenging points including setting boundaries keeping the room tidy tiredness demanding answering back from children what children like include love, attention, sweets, cheering their favorite football club, and what to do is to stop defending yourself, do not compare other parents' benchmarks. Every family is different due to uniqueness of parents and every child what family means to children love each other keep together and keep strong cousins aunts and grannies having each other at your side the purpose of family is one supports children always feel safe loved and accepted don't say you will never get over it or just back up mourn with them Two, family provides fun. Children thrive on fun. Set aside once a week to have fun. Guard from interruptions of phone and television. Children choose what to do and adapt activity to their age. Not too many after school activities. Show and tell presentation from children's sports, example. Special food, example. Three, purpose of family family provides moral campus we spend two years to teach children to walk and talk and then ask them to sit down and keep quiet is that fair Four. family is a place where children learn to relate experiencing unconditional love gives confidence the words we speak are important in building confidence in our children. There are three foundational needs of children, security, self-worth, and significance. Tell children you love them. Children learn by observing parents' relationship. So be kind to one another. Fiscal exhaustion and how we handle conflict is important. Healthy role models. Look after your marriage and care for our children. Your partner comes first. Healthy role models, important from extended family, friends, other people about the marriage couple. Say positive things. Do not make negative statements about divorce. Positive sibling relationships. How to handle conflicts sharing a room 
and helping each other. No family is perfect, but still it is the best training ground for children. Reflection, take stock of your family. Section two, patterns for healthy family. What is our vision in parenting? And what memories should be in children? One, the importance of play. There are three practical steps. The importance of play, the natural drive to explore and learn may look messy but helpful. Two, importance of bonding. Children need time. Three, establish routines like family meal time. Importance of play. These include indoor play, outdoor play, swimming, riding a bike, a playhouse, gardening, water game, cooking. Social dimension of play help communicates with others. Time watching TV displaces doing things in real world. Only watch appropriate content for a short while. No TV for fewer than three, those less than three year old. Not more than two hours a day for above three year olds. Advice against having TV in children's bedroom. Electronic games, check the content and monitor the time. What rating is that game? Have clear rules, discussions, boundaries on technology, computer and Facebook. Importance of bonding. Children need time, make time now. Both quantity and quality time. A safe, secure environment and the issue of work needs to be considered. One parent is the main carer or caregiver before five years. Flex the hours, job share to make time. Weekend sets aside for family time. Career changes may be needed to make time. We are indispensable at home. Children care about love, not our lifestyle. We are not indispensable at work. Establish routines. Family meal time. Learn how to relate. Learn good manners. Routine ensures security. Storytelling at meal times. Retell stories. Persevere even if it appears tense. Establishing routines like bed time routine, sleep time. Sleep helps learning. It also helps immune system and behavior and paying attention. For seven to 11 year olds, they need 10 to 11 hours. A good sleep pattern needs to be taught. Prayer and quiet time at night before bedtime. Session two, meeting our children's needs. One, unconditional love necessary. Children showing tantrum or fighting other siblings need one-to-one -one attention to fill their emotional tank. Children need to be loved. There are five ways of feeling loved, which are the five love languages. Words, time, touch, presence, and actions. Affirming words. Words have the power to build or break down. Children need to hear they are adorable. I don't like your behavior, but I love you. Note personal attributes to praise. Be careful about critical comments. Affirming words. Be honest. Do not flatter when they, are, they do wrong. Encouragement, say well done. For every one negative comment, say five positive comments. One to one time, one to one full attention. The child feels important when we watch them perform in concerts and also going shopping together. 
reading story, 10 to 15 minutes, jigsaw puzzle. Older children engage in swimming, camping, pizza, give good eye contact. Use eye contact positively and instill confidence. Listen with your eyes as well. Affectionate touch. It takes effort and practice. Hugs help. Hello and goodbye kisses. Play fighting. Hand on shoulder in older child. Thoughtful presence. It's also a love language. Too many presents will spoil them. Well-timed presents and purposeful presents which they like. Birthday presents, give sporadically, not expensive presents. Kind actions as a love language. Young children need to learn to say thank you for what you do for them. They should not take parents' work for granted. Help them make things. Do kind acts out of love. Do not be resentful. Make impact lunch for them, for example, guidance in giving children in responsibility. Make rota for cleaning bathroom, kitchen, etc. Session three, setting boundaries. Combining love and limits. Children can be very adept at making excuses. Why we need to set boundaries? Love and discipline go together. Setting boundaries for kind and selfish behavior. It helps to form good behavior. Gives respect for authority. Do not undermine authority figure of parents, teachers, others. They must speak out if authority is abused. Without boundaries, children find it difficult to listen and pay attention in school. Discipline involves learning, correction, with consequences for making mistakes. Boundaries help security and safety. Let children know what boundaries are and there are consequences of boundaries. Children need parents to be parents, not friends. Where do we set boundaries? Not too lax, not too strict. Set boundaries within a broad path. Authoritative parenting is the best. That is combination of love and boundaries. There's authoritarian, which is not recommended. Indulgent parenting where the child-centered parenting is not helpful. Neglectful parenting doesn't notice what is happening in the child. Children always test boundaries. It's never too late to set boundaries. How do you set boundaries? One, teach right and wrong choices and consequences for keeping within and out of boundaries. The consequences are a choice for the child. Praise right choices with words of affirmation, like also star chart for good behavior. HALT, choose the right battles using the HALT acronym. A hungry child gives snack. Anxious and angry child reassure them. Lonely child needs a hug and encouragement and tired from school child also need support. Parents should also check if HALT applies to parents. Natural childishness and disobedience. For example, spilling drink on table is childishness. Four, maintain a sense of humor. Good to have jokes. Helping our children make good choices. Some children are more sensitive and others are more strong-willed. 
So be fair and clear, not expecting too much of them. Have clear rules. 2. Use your voice effectively. Consistent no. Shout in emergency in order to help our children make good choices. Mean what you say by your action that makes a difference. Use distraction, family rules on regular time for homework. Be one step ahead. Give choices if we can. It feels like they are in control. They feel valued with choices. Six, stay in control of our emotion. Children try to control parents by making them angry. Seven, follow through with the consequences. Idle threats chipping our words. Time out for children. Consequence must be exact, specific. Withdrawal of privileges, for example. Right and wrong choices with appropriate consequences. Children learn from their mistakes by taking responsibility for their lives. Try not to rescue them, rescue them all the time. Eight, work together as parents. Avoid children divide and rule tactics. Parents discuss and agree on boundaries. Check what partner has said. Divorced parents need to agree on boundaries set by ex-partners. Separate your relationship and deal with parenting issues. Do not undermine each other in front of the children. Discipline is good for children, so work together as parents. Session 4, Teaching Healthy Relationships, Modeling and Practicing. Parents apologize and forgive one another. How we deal with difficult situations matters. 1. The Power of Listening. It takes time to listen to the child. Find the feelings behind the words. Listen when the child is ready to talk. 2. Pay full attention. Put aside work and give full attention. Look them in the eye. 3. Make effort to listen. Show interest. 4. Avoid shutting them down. Let them express different opinions. 5. Reflect back in their own words. It helps children understand how they feel. Empathize through listening, especially when child is sad. Kids don't like face-to-face. -face. Sometimes side-by-side -side sometimes helps them to talk. Act on what the child says. Don't be quick to fix. Listen. Relationship with siblings and other children. Build bonds with others. Sometimes may not get on with each other in the short term. One is value each child as unique. Value each child as unique rather than comparing with each other's sibling. Avoid sibling rivalry. Avoid labeling a child as the bright one, sporty, or naughty one. Every child has talent. Commend each child. Two, don't try to arbitrate every fight. Children need space to resolve conflict and communicate. Three, have time together as a family. Do chores together. It is all right for them to be bored. Four, give a child some space and privacy. Five, help them to see each other's good points. Encourage them to share bedroom and toys to take care of each other. Part two, handling anger. 
unhelpful ways. One is the rhino approach, charging in the heat of the moment. Two is a hedgehog attitude, tend to withdraw and not talk about their feelings. Handling anger. Parents be angry, but don't lose control of your anger by harming or saying things which are psychologically damaging. Shout, but sit down and listen to children afterwards in a calm way. Ways to manage anger. 1. Know the root cause of your anger using the HALT acronym. Deal with unresolved hurt in the past, which is displaced anger. 2. Take time out in order to calm down. Get away for 30 seconds and take a deep breath. Think before you speak. Listen first. 3. Label the action, not the child. Use I statements. Example, I feel totally taken for granted, not you are rude or stupid. Tantrums. Tantrums are normal. Don't make a big deal of tantrums. There's nothing wrong with parents. It helps child to express anger. If you get angry, you play into child's hand or children's hand. Smiling helps. Don't worry about what people think. Tantrums don't last forever. They end after five years. If you know you are right, don't give in to tantrum. For age 5 to 10, know how children and individual children act when angry. The rhino aggression or hedgehog withdraws. Help them express their angry feeling in a gentle way, in a mature way. When a child says, I hate you or hate my sister, don't say you cannot hate others. Say, it sounds like you are angry. Can I know what is upsetting you? Allow them time to calm down after one hour before they talk. Tantrums, one, recognize it is a long process. Teach them that tantrums will not help them get their own way. Two, try to find out the root cause of their anger. Remember HALT's acronym and listen carefully. Maybe they, they are upset from school or friends, feeling unfairly treated. The early days are so easy but challenging when they grow and answer back need to listen to them, calmly and firmly correct them. 3. Model how to resolve conflict well. Parents resolve conflict well. Let children see how you resolve conflict. Say sorry to each other in presence of children. Say sorry when we need to apologize to our children. It's never too late to forgive or say you are sorry. Session 5. Our long-term aim. Part 1. Encouraging responsibility. We don't own our children and cannot control them for life. Help children to become responsible adults. Have ongoing close relations. Encouraging responsibility. By 18 years, relate as an adult to adult. Change from control to consult and discuss. Start letting go of control. Allow appropriate choices of friends and increasing trust. Avoid over control. Symptoms of over control. 1. Micromanaging our children's lives. Stand back and allow child to stand against pain, discuss how the child likes to handle things, sometimes there's no need to interfere. Example, parents 
attending interview of her child and answering questions for her. Two, being over competitive for our children puts undue pressure on, ch on a child. Appreciate that they did their best in the exam. Three, over scheduling our children's lives. Allow freedom to play. The gift of boredom forces their mind to be creative. For over protecting and rescuing our children, allow them to take responsibility for their own actions. If they lose something, don't replace it immediately. Don't be afraid of child mistake. Don't blame teacher for underperformance. Time keeping, being responsible of the child. Let go on the emotional side. Children may pull away from parents who over control. Five, allow children to learn from mistakes. Let them make choices now and guide the children. Practical ways. Help them take responsibility in small areas. Pass the children information appropriate to their age. Three, pass on our values. Sex, do not wait until they are teenagers. Electronic media and other influences give wrong values continually, so don't wait. Check what they are asking. Sex. Talk in natural way about sex. Allow questions. Do it when they are under five years. Give a simple answer. Talk about right and wrong touch and how to say no. Talk about hormone changes before their first period. Children like parents to talk to them about sex. Our children's best filter is their brain. Internet filter may have limitation. Staying safe websites on the internet can be browsed for. Enable them to talk to you or trusted adults about what they see, which is inappropriate. Keep laptops in family room, time allowed and what game they can play. Electronic games can be addictive. Session 5, Part 2, Passing on Beliefs and Values. Notional values are considered important but not practice. Honesty. Real values are those we practice. Healthy food means providing healthy food. These are real values in practice. Relationship with wider family. Our values are influenced by our core beliefs we pass on consciously or unconsciously. Our Christian faith affects our answers to children's questions. Answering our children's questions depends on our core values. Our home environment is important boundaries but not legalism create fun and laughter live out our christian faith unconditional love three involve other people it takes the village to raise a child four passing on our values about money save spend and give some away generosity how to handle peer pressure on spending money on latest gadgets. Teach value of delayed gratification. The quality of life is more than money. Relationship more important than money. Five, pray for our children. Pray for our children character traits, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Pray with our children as bedtime routine. Also, in the morning, pray with them. Pray for ourselves. Ask God 
for wisdom. 6. Developing family routines, rituals and traditions. Example, roast dinner on Sunday. Let children have regular meal time and bedtime. Traditional meal. Traditions give sense of security and sense of belonging. Thank you, dear friend.